There's two of our ARs we're building. Working on the it's a builded piece of aircraft aluminum T651. Not done yet, but got a little bit more to go. Yeah, there's got some big old tusk. Now, we're going to go play with a forge. This is a devil forge, and... I've got the inside coated. Um, I can open that up. There you go. Got the inside coated. Uh, I've never fired this thing up yet. So, that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna do a do a light one burner and just try to do a kind of cure this stuff out. So we'll light it. Let that cool down, then we'll light it again. Yeah, I've had this thing for a couple months, and like on the back, you can still see that it's wet, and that's why you gotta cure it out. set for about an hour um, that last time. Yeah, this time I'm gonna let it let it burn for about 15 minutes. Get it good and hot. I also have a the smelter, the, the Devil Forge smelter. And I'm gonna be getting it set up here too. Um, I got them about the same time and pretty much put them together then put the paste on. And that'll do it for the second burn. All right, I'm on the last burn. And if you'll notice how the flames have turned blue now. I, I haven't changed anything. I haven't done nothing. Um, 
the yellow that that was what that stuff was burning out of there um, it's pulling the moisture out and all that good stuff um, we're about ready to forge some stuff uh, yeah I guess I gotta find me a set of tongs I've got my tongs right here somewhere but I I don't know where I put them but anyway check out the next video um, I'm going to be burning the smelter in kind of the same process kind of boring but this is what a lot of people skip and you're going to get a lot more a lot more use out of out of your forge if you do if you do the burns um, if you paint them let let them secure for a week uh, at, at least um, I, I'm not in no hurry I'm an old fart so but I'd rather I'd rather them get the moisture out of them and make them last so I guess we're gonna call it here y'all catch me on the next one